This college football picks week five edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. <clears throat> Play the Underdog Pick 'em in college or NFL and win up to 20x in one game. Plus, every Sunday they're giving away $100,000. Use promo code SGPN at Underdog Fantasy for a 100% deposit bonus up to $500. We're also brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. Twenty percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code SGP. We're also brought to you by Veasan. Sign up now and save forty percent with their football season special when you use promo code SGP. Veasan.com slash subscribe promo code SGP. Finally, we're brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting re- research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get fifty percent off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Hey, this is LeGarrette Blunt, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Uh, I'm only wearing this because I don't have anything else to wear. <laughs> Kramer rocking his Virginia Tech shirt, even though they lost to Marshall. I texted Colby on a side text thread about really? uh, Virginia Tech. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I didn't want to anger you before you the show. The good picks. I only, I only like to anger uh, you on the show. Joining I'm, us in studio, Colby Dant, all aka right. the database. <laughs> have you heard about the good picks chat? Are you part of that? <laughs> uh, I'm part of it. My, I mean, we yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Sean, yeah, Sean, Sean apparently uh, he saves some of his good picks for off air, for private. What do you mean? I give out all my picks, all for free. On the sports gambling podcast, picking every NFL game against the spreads in 2011. Tons of college football picks. ATS, looking at our uh, record here, looking pretty good. D. Bettis, who's usually very negative, suddenly, I mean, looks like selfish reasons, but suddenly he's in a good mood. <laughs> uh, let's rattle off some of our records here. Colby, 40, 30, and 1, 59%. Lock, 83%. Mm. Mm. I'm uh, nipping at your heel. Fifty-eight percent, not as good in the locks. A Kramer, thirty-nine, thirty-two, and one, fifty-five percent as well. We're all fifty-five percent and above. Producer Josh with a nice uh, bounce back week there as well. Eight, four, and one. We're Everyone up. was. We were all seven, five, and one, and we all hit one lock. So we're we're getting close. We're almost almost completely fired up, and uh, yeah. No, well, we are. Here's the weird part. We're just too dumb to realize it. Mm. But when we all agree, on fire. Oh yes, 20, I mean Discord has been in trouble. And twenty four, thirteen, and one, good for sixty five percent. We really should just be locking up things that we all agree on. But we're we're too stubborn to do that. It seems. No, well, not no, me. Because I'm higher than sixty five percent. Oh, oh wow. So, you know what I mean? There. Oh, Woo, it's wow. simple, oh, simple Dundee math. Well, not on your overall picks. On your lock <laughs> percentage, yes. Yeah. And uh, if you're Whoa. wondering why this uh, episode is a day late, you can thank uh, Colby Carmen San Diego over here. Take where in the world is Car- uh, how is how is uh, Laramie Colby I aka Laradice? It's fantastic. I mean, th- for football, yeah. like I think they have a top ten stadium in America for football, and so that stadium's awesome. It, it's it's a fun. It, it's a small ass town though. It's really small town, like one of the smallest I've ever I've ever seen, as far as like going there. But uh, one fan of base the smallest towns Colby's ever seen. I, I mean, like I've been, to, I went to Missoula, Laramie. Yeah, and I think I think Missoula is like metropolis compared to Laramie. I mean, just off recollection, I was a few Jaeger bombs deep. But nice. I mean, <laughs> uh, but no, the fan turnout was great. That game was bananas. That game was abs- like that game was just a crazy game. It was one of those games where like you kind of felt like App State dominated the game, but kept settling for field goals. There was defensive touchdowns, special teams touchdowns, like just oh, just a crazy game. Just just art in motion, Colby. Oh yeah, it was fantastic. 
Well, I'm happy. I mean, I saw we you were go. down on the field, and I saw you were up in the nosebleeds. What's what was that all about? Yeah, I got the I got the field passes. Nice. Uh, took NC Nick first experience getting on the field. Oh, how was that? You know, it was great. Love going up yeah. to players, start talking to him, and then they realize they have no idea who I am, and they just st- <laughs> start walking away. Well, you, you just go up there yeah. like, "Hey, champ, you're gonna yeah. get the get the old W today, <laughs> champ." It's a little bit like calling being, everyone kid. Hey kid, how we feeling? Stopped stopped in a uh, in Fort Collins the night before. Met up with some fans. Shout out, oh, sh- yeah. shout out to the good fans. Uh, but also, Great town, uh, Fort Collins. Uh, so, yeah, went to Sunny Lubick, legendary Colorado State football coach's steakhouse. I'm gonna go ahead and say this: Sunny Lubick steakhouse better than Elway's. I've been oh, to Elway's wow. steakhouse. All right. Uh, surprisingly, no horse is that, on the is menu. That in Fort Collins. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Did you catch my joke there? Um, He's laser. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, laser focused. Uh, okay. No, it, it is in Fort Collins, Sunny Lubix. Elways, I went to in. Uh, there's, I think, multiple, but I went to the one in Vale. Uh, wow, you were really no. I, I didn't do Elways this trip. I did Elways oh. a, cu- a couple years ago. I'm just but, kind of hobnobbing off but there and Vale. L- Lubix is better than Elways on the record. Wow. Yeah. On the record, put they have it an down. Ur- Urban Meyer photo on the wall. He was he was there having steak. Yeah, he's one of those guys who will oh. get penetration. Fort Collins is known as one of the more liberal uh, of the the towns over there. <laughs> wonder, is, I wonder it, if he kicked a waiter. It is a uh, <laughs> Fort Collins, great college town. They got oh, the yeah. comedy club, comedy fort, uh, a lot of fun. Good, uh, yeah, I'm jealous. Sound like a fun trip, and uh, yeah, back here. Talking college football picks. Well, it, you, so you don't want to you don't want to personally uh, apologize to anyone that the podcast a day late. Oh, oh yeah, Andy yeah. Bice, yeah, he, he, he who somehow found our emails oh. and uses it as <laughs> if it's a group text. Shout out to Andy, love love all the feedback, and he you, he like emails us as he's listening yeah, to the I show because he'll get to like certain parts. He's like, oh, I can't believe you guys did that, and that's the email. <laughs> um, but he he'll drop some nuggets, likes. Likes the Jags as a favorite in London. Some good trends yeah, there. So keeps shout you, out yeah. to keeps you hungry. And, no, and while we're doing it, Chad G. Oh. Chad oh, yes. G. Who's it, I, we met up with him in Fort Collins. We met up with a, 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 a like a, a good bunch of fans, but specifically Chad G. Getting out there, he was the best fan. That no, you no, we had some great fans. <laughs> well, I don't want to rank. I don't want to rank them he, like Dion. All right, you, I'm not going to rank the fucking fans here. But if you had but, to, yeah. No, Chad G was no, the best. I mean, everyone, th- dude. All right. I met with five different. Uh, everyone was fucking cool as shit. And so. shout out to Andy Bice. A uh, little update in the SGPN College <laughs> Football Bankroll Challenge. Andy, is he leading? Andy is in a commanding first place. Sixty-seven thousand five hundred thirty-seven uh, shares. You start with ten thousand shares. Maybe, this guy is on a heater. Maybe we need. Maybe to we'll get. just have him fill in for Colby uh, next time on Colby's uh, vacation. <laughs> We we do need to rank the athlete steakhouses. Oh, I think we. I know there's a Shula's. Right, there's in. a Shula's in Canton. All right, cool. You know add I mean? this to the list. Uh, podcast idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's uh, there's there, there's we got a Tony's in Dayhouse has a Wait, place here in L.A. So which right? is the one that I was throwing up on the side of in Canton? Shula's. Yeah, Shula's. Oh, yeah. Shula's. Yeah. Shula's delicious. The, the, there's a lot. I mean, we, we delicious we, we, both yeah. ways. Mickey Mantle has one. I've been I've been to a Mickey Mantle steakhouse <laughs> in uh in Oklahoma City. Great uh, fried chicken sandwich at Shula's. Yes, in the beautiful town of Canton, Ohio. Oh yeah. All right. Hey, let's get into it. We got a massive slate oh. Friday and Saturday. Oh, I, I oh, feel oh. like we didn't talk about not only do we have Lee Corso called out, but also like t- two men in the in their eighties, Lou Holtz and Lee Corso, <laughs> their high eighties, I think too. Two two weekend yeah, at Bernie's is, char- characters. Why was uh why was Ryan Day so mad at Lee Corso? It's like <laughs> Lee Corso had a somewhat positive take on Notre yeah, Dame. It was no, but it was a hundred percent accurate. It, Ohio State's been a, a finesse team lately. Like they've been yeah. Yeah, very good at being a finesse team, but they've Ryan certainly Day got their ass yeah. mad. I said this on the. Uh, sorry, I'm out of character, but uh, I, I said I said this on the uh, maybe off air, but it was I was so excited to hear what Lou Holtz had said <laughs> when I saw how mad Ryan Day was, and then what I heard what he said, which was basically, you know, they've kind of gotten bullied by the really good teams lately. And they're gonna have to play tougher. <laughs> and it's like, oh no! Uh, I mean, I love yeah. some good trash talk, but like, it didn't feel. It felt a little over the top. I mean, Lou Holtz yeah. has said some crazy ass shit. Yeah, like we. Got, I thought I was gonna hear something amazing. Well, well, you he mean, was just happy to be trending and not for spitting on someone <laughs> that he's broadcasting with, right? Like, uh, anytime you see Lou Holtz trending, you're like, oh, I assume he spit on someone or he's dead. Yeah. McAfee. I'm, I, I wonder. I gotta look. Go back and look at that interview. He he probably got spat on. But yeah, um, you you Google Irish squirter. You I guarantee. 
guaranteed Lee Holt shows up yeah. in there. But this was watch a- this three minute video of this Irish <laughs> squirter. And it's just well, Holtz. Another thing is he's like, it's Ohio State against the word. I'm like, yeah, right. what? what? You t- everyone's they're been like, hating on you. You, you have no, like 12 man. draft picks every year. You, they're yeah. perennial <laughs> favorites. You guys are literally. So you were, you what were, are you talking you were, about? You were here, a dude? three and a half point yeah. road favorite. Yeah. <laughs> but, what are you talking? Everyone's so, against. So you. we had that drama. We had the Corso drama with Wazoo, and then. I mean, how about? I, I think we well, have the, some, what I, was the core? The Corso drama was non-drama too. A bunch of like bunch of babies this weekend. No, Wazoo has honest. every right. Like I do believe at the core of it, ESPN was behind the destruction of the mm. Pac-12. Now Corso coming at Corso, Corso clearly in the clearly hasn't had a thought in twelve years. <laughs> yeah, come on. All right, like this is he's just reading from the cards, right? And even with that. I, I don't Which, even by know the that way, you can make you, sense of what he said. I, I learned yeah. this weekend. Seven hundred billion and a trillion three hundred <laughs> million. Did you know the origin of the headgear was at, at an Ohio State game where Herb Street's wife was like yeah. former cheerleader and had access to the? I learned that this weekend. Little Corso yeah, nugget yeah. there. But dude, you add in you add in that uh, th- that and then you add in the Dan Lanning Dion shit and then you add in the slap. All right, let's go to Alabama State. Oh, it, wow. Look at, I mean, come on, let let's load up this because you, you just brush over Colorado to talk about no, a, guy get, that back. a guy getting his, his shit smacked. Oh, come on, this is this is fo- you know sports sports. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Uh, Alabama State player getting into it with the fan security guard security well, guard. Well, first the yeah. first the fan and then security guard and to just open mouth slap. <laughs> kind of a, kind got of a, arrested though. <laughs> I mean, again, we add overreaction. The, Just add a slap. This, add this to the list of things. Kind of I, a bitch move to slap and then run away. If you're gonna fight and, and a dude, you're in a helmet. Yeah, take your helmet yeah. off and fight the How security about the guard. Old headbutt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fight the security guard like a real man. Another one where I saw the video and it was like, oh, I thought I thought this was gonna be more. These are football. Yeah, I guess players. I'm jaded as uh, from watching yeah, clip I, shows and seeing insane well, knockouts. Well, how about the the Rio Grande rivalry reaching a new level. Uh, the uh, social media overreacts to Diego P- Pavia, the quarterback of uh, New Mexico State. Uh, you know, this is fantastic. I just love he cares this much about yeah. uh, college football. He's pissing on the uh, the <laughs> practice logo for uh, the New Mexico Lobos. That's the rival of New Mexico State. I don't even know how he's in that practice facility. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised yeah. they have a practice facility. Like that's <laughs> that's impressive. YouTube.com uh, slash sports game of podcast. If right, you want to see why, why have we gone too far? What the fuck are they talking about? This is great for the this rivalry. Is good. This is gonna help TV ratings for uh, next year. They're gonna get the say, rivalry ready to go. And I've heard a couple other people say this, but the the idea that the, if the TV networks are in charge, then obviously it's gonna become very uh outlandish and and uh a hot air uh I mean again the, you you kind of brushed over it but the Oregon you know uh, I am I'm in my Colorado Buffs fan outfit right now uh, hey guys we didn't get to brush the field this <laughs> this week but did you check out the sweet movie that Oregon put out they put out a all right so first of all they put out a, a 5 minute 24 second movie about their victory Mm, that yeah. they obviously had already created most of before the game. Well, they knew they were going to fuck up Colorado so bad. Well, and they dropped the uh the the video of Lanning saying that which, you know, that wasn't like you know, I, wasn't I, like someone's cell phone. This is great for I, mean, I I think this is excellent. I'm all in for it. I love watching videos like that, so I will if if teams I love a want, good hype video. teams want to start putting out documentaries about their sweet ass wins, I'm in on that. Unfortunately, my team's checked out on winning, so I'll be <laughs> I'll be tuning into other teams. You know what this uh, is? The, the hype video of Virginia Tech losing to Marshall would be great. <laughs> we couldn't even cover seven against Rutgers. <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to recruit the area, you're you know, doing a shitty job of losing to the teams that you're recruiting against. You know what the Oregon thing is, though. What the the, the there's USC and Oregon have been battling oh, on the West. Yeah. Right. They always battle for recruits on the West. Now with Dion at Colorado, I think they feel oh. threatened. They feel very threatened that the the top the and, top players in the nation. And Dion, like a great chess master, he had his next move planned. Keeps receipts. Oh. Well, you better beat me this year because my team's gonna be the worst that it <laughs> Oh my god. Right, right now is the worst that will ever be. Are you kidding yeah. me? Love it. I like that. I, I like it. everything that Dion's doing. I don't think the that. stomping on the field, like that was Well, you guys this is the problem. You gotta like, okay. Being confident is cool, but you can't, 
you're acting like assholes. And uh, a, a guy on another podcast pointed out that typically mediocre teams don't get every other team's best shot. I mean, and they're talking shit into their way into again. I mean, again, they they didn't have to be disrespectful. You're talking about trying to fight people like that's stupid. Like honestly, like I that, that's the kind of stuff where I, I would I assume Dion like, said, "Hey, like to his son, like what the fuck are you getting caught on camera saying, you dumb motherfucker?" <laughs> like that's what I would imagine he said to him. I just feel like that shit goes on with every game, though, man. Uh, oh, okay, but then don't. If, they, if you were to mic up, you know, but don't put yeah. it on. Don't blast it so that people can make it easy to get. You don't think this is going to help motivate USC too? Sure, they're probably saying this shit about us, and it's like, oh my god. Sure, but I, I mean, I still think like to me, like I don't I, know, like. I think it's I think it's great what he's doing for for college football, but I mean, come on. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I, I respected Dion. He he uh, he he answered all the questions. He 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 took it on the. Ch- I mean, the reality is that uh, he's done this to himself. He I mean he brought the he brought the heavyweights out, and now they all want to hunt. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I and I think it's working for them and it working for his recruiting, working for the attention, working for his kids on AL did, deals. So did I that think game is, help him? Yeah. In recruiting? So. Yeah. Uh that not was the, the most watched game, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, okay, but you but getting their ass beat like But that? I think they were gonna I get mean, their ass beat regardless. Yeah. They they didn't have the talent to Oh no, play. I'm not arguing. Dion's already against won you. when he won the first couple of games. Yeah, they I mean, could go I, three I, and nine and I, they're good. I yeah. think your point is like, hey, if they didn't hype this up with the I think you still would have got your ass kicked. It still would have been the same result. Like I, I don't think that game hurt him. No, no, no. I, I'm I, two separate things. Like the idea of getting your ass kicked does that help you in recruiting? Probably doesn't matter to your guys' point. I agree with that. But uh, you know, creating all this stir probably helped get your ass beat worse. Pro- it's maybe maybe, like maybe they the, got yeah. like maybe they got another touchdown in there. But I think generating all this attention, having college game day, come to your campus week after week after week, Dude, they're, even if you, even this, if it does increase your ass kickings, on, on oh, yeah. TV viewers, but, but you're, 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 yeah. you're going to get so many five stars. It's going to work out long-term. It, yeah. And a lot of injuries. So hopefully that doesn't, I mean, I, <laughs> it, it, again, dudes are going to get hurt eventually. No, f- f- come on. It's football. No one gets hurt. I, I'm fine with it, but you can't, <laughs> no like, you, one gets hurt. You put football. a target on your back. You're going to, you know, you're going to have some uh, guys go out with lacerated spleens or livers, whatever happened. Liver, there. Livers. All right. Uh, Sean, Sean looks like he wants to pick games. He's itching. Oh yeah. He doesn't I'm like, itching. he doesn't like talking all this narrative bullshit. Uh, you guys, you guys call your soapbox stuff. I'm, I'm here to talk games. I caught Sean pissing on a, a, a rival corporate uh, logo <laughs> I did. Uh, for sports gambling. You know? I did. You know what? You'll never see me pee on little Caesars. Love little Caesars. Perfect game day food companion. Oh man. I mean, Saturday college football. It's about locking yourself in the SGPN studio, firing up God's eye. It was really a sad Saturday. I had to set up God's eye all by myself because Colby wasn't there. It was just me and my little Caesars, my little Caesars wings, the pretzel crust pizza. You got pepperoni on top of a pizza on top of pretzel crust. It you, it just does not get any better. And of course, they are the uh, official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Fe- official pizza sponsor of the Sports Gambling Podcast. Just look at that. The mouth watering, uh, all the all the variations of the crazy cheesy bread. Back when I was growing up, it was just crazy bread. Now they got all different kinds of options: the cookie dough, brownies, again the Caesar wings, uh, one of my favorite items, along with the pretzel crust pizza. Make Little Caesars a part of your game day. It is a lead pipe lock for a perfect uh, football Saturday. I gotta be honest. If there's not some likes in here soon, we're gonna have to. No, we're gonna have to put the stream. No, we're gonna have to d- put D Bettis in timeout. <laughs> so if you enjoy D Bettis being a troll, you better save him right now. Smash the like button. All right, let's uh, let's talk college ball. Are these these are all on Friday? Loaded slate confirmed. Yeah, I mean, there's even a hundred miles of hate Thursday. Uh, you guys wouldn't let me oh. do 14, 14 well, games. Uh, you didn't ask, but you, we would have said no. We're heading to Raleigh, North Carolina, four p.m. on the West Coast, Lu- Louisville. Taking on the Wolfpack, NC State. NC State catching three and a half here, plus one forty on the money line, minus one sixty five for Louisville. Sorry, Louisville. Fifty five and a half is the total. Colby, you told us to be high on Brom and uh, the the Louis the Louisville, and uh, this 
This is an ultimate. I've done gambling before. I know not to take the three and a half here. They're gonna. They want to make it look good, but I watched NC State last week. NC State almost they lost to UVA. Yeah. yeah, they are like, trash. Ola, you might say this spread stinks, but I let's not overthink this and just take Louisville. Have you guys watched this kid for Louisville? Jo- yeah, Har Jordan. He's, Their team's awesome. He is. That that guy's gonna be in the NFL very, very fast. Very fast. He's Lu- gonna be in the NFL. Louisville averaging forty three points per game, five hundred forty two total yards of offense. I know NC State's a home dog Friday night home dogs. I'm usually gonna lean towards them, but I, I just think they're not in the ACC. That doesn't matter. Yeah, that place does get lit though. Oh, as much no. as I talk shit about them, like they, well, yeah. there's also an interesting trend here. The favorite is four and zero, oh, both straight up in ATS last four meetings between these two teams. Louisville does have a winning record in Raleigh. Yeah, and I think oh. this is a decent spot for them. Well, they do have Notre Dame on deck. There is that. There. Is that worth? Is that worth noting? I mean, I like the Louisville side. They can lose side. that Notre Dame game though, because it has nothing to do with the conference are, race. Are we worried at all? Well, yeah, that's the that's the crux, right? It's a big game, but it, it it's this less is a important to their yeah yeah to getting to the conference championship game. I, are we worried that the money is all over Louisville? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but this I, stinks all around, huh? I'll, t- I'll I think Louisville is getting better each and every week uh, as they they. They get more and more familiar with Brahms' system and English's system. They're DC, so I, I agree. You got to go Louisville here, but NC State. You know, I do think you go Armstrong back to that Notre Dame game. Hasn't been great though. They weren't as bad as in that Notre Dame. If you watch the film on that, like the no, final they were. Score, they were up yeah. uh, a. De- they were up. Uh, was it at halftime or early? Like and they, they had, were hanging around in that. And game. they had that a lot of like deceiving. They had a lot of their like shoot themselves in the foot errors. You know what I mean? Like wide open receiver hits off his hands, picked off. You know what I mean? Like if they can just. You know, limit that they they can hang in that game. But I, I'm on Louisville. Give me Louisville. I was gonna say, uh, NC State's just a team. I'm 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 just gonna get wrong more than I'm gonna get right. I just have to come to grips with that. I'm well, fading them. Discord's gonna get NC State wrong because oh, we're all in Louisville. That's right. We should love this pick. I gotta mentally note this for the locks later on. Utah heading to Oregon State. Massive bat matchup in the Pac-12 uh, non-conference uh, matchup in the Pac-2. 6 p.m. on the West Coast. Corvallis, Oregon, three-point favorites for Oregon State. The Beavers are minus 165. Utah plus 140. 44 and a half is the total. Is this the week we get Cam rising back? I, I, I. It seems, seems like no. Well, it's and also too the the line would suggest no because I think the Oregon State Open is like a one one and a half point favorite, and they've been uh, it's the the spread has been going up, so that would suggest to me that they don't think he's going to well, be they, play. They have a buy next week, so you know conspiring minds are suggesting that why not wait one more week? You get a bonus week. He gets to be all the way back and healthy, which. I, if you're that, if if it's a matter of weeks with an ACL recovery, yeah. maybe he's not ready to come back, which would I'm be a whole skeptical. different conversation. I, 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 I was skeptical with Utah in general for the season because it came rising. Now they looked very good defensively. The defense carried them in that UCLA game. If it oh. wasn't for that opening pick six uh, to start the game, UCLA might have pulled it out. It was a very very like ugly defensive uh, minded game. I mean, Chip Kelly, I don't think had ever gotten shut out in the first half that happened, but Utah and Oregon state, they're two teams. They're different on the road than they are at home. Like uh, Oregon state so much better at home and Utah, the same thing, 38 points. They've given up in four games. They've played two non-conference power fives. Yeah, this is th- but Utah. I mean, they haven't had their starting quarterback. They found a way. I, I love I, Oregon I, I, State, I, but I worry that fading Utah is is not wise right now. Like they're just finding a way. Oregon State, to me, the matchup is them against the run. They're holding opponents to sixty nine point eight yards per game. So I think if they can slow down Utah's running game, I just don't see how Utah puts up many points. I, I now was maybe just about to say that. maybe they end up getting the cover in like a twenty one twenty ugly game. But I just, I just str- I struggle to fig- find out how Oregon State, or sorry, Utah. Even if Cam Rising comes back, first game back from ACL in Corvallis uh, at Friday night. Yeah, I'm going Oregon State. I, I love Oregon State in this spot mainly just because they are Utah. Like they built this program in the same way. They were the top defensive team in the Pac-12 a year ago. Second was Utah, and uh, you add in the fact that 
We don't know the quarterback situation. The, this is the first time they're opening that stadium after their, uh, the, you know, they remodeled this thing last year. Half the thing was out. It's the closest to the, to the, to the players. And in, in I think all of college football. So I, I think that's going to make it extremely hard. If it's a, if it's a freshman quarterback in a second ever road start, uh, I, I just think Oregon state is Utah. They know how to play that style of ball. So give me Oregon state minus three. Utah has won six of seven, but I I'm with you. I like the revenge angle and, and I like the idea that the Utah kid, I mean, is Baylor a super hostile environment? I mean, it, it could be a little bit, but Meh. I mean like, not, not like not, this, not like, Corvallis, so uh, yeah. I'm with you. Oh, let's go two for two. We'll agree. Plus uh, we stand much like uh, we, a small business, we stand with other small businesses like the the Washington State and Oregon State of the Pac two. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Pac twelve is now a small business. No, Pac two. we 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 share there. <laughs> we, we buy do. the Pac two. That was what I was saying. Oh, okay. Pac two is a small business. I, now I, if they want to keep the two. conference together, I think we could sponsor a two team conference. We could do the have them play every week. Let's uh, pitch dental. Oh, only conference play. I'm not even kidding. Let's pitch a Manning cast style broadcast. Okay. Where we could just we'll just do the live stream. We'll just say, you know, tune into our YouTube channel. We'll be yeah. doing a, a second screen. We'll experience. be the exclusive rights holder. Yeah. We'll get uh, all sorts of zany guests. We'll uh we'll talk about what's gonna happen next. And <laughs> zany. Uh, I love yeah, that. that's you okay, know, I'm thinking you. I'm thinking outside the box. That the, what would Eli do? All right. Uh last one for Dr- Friday. Drinkowitz? Oh no, please. The, the great <laughs> Eli Manning, of course. Elijah Manning. Seven fifteen on the West Coast. We're into Provo, Utah. It's time to soak. BYU host Cincinnati. Soak, soak, soak. soak. Uh, B, uh, both teams coming off disappointing Big 12 conference openers. BYU now set to have their home conference opener against fellow newcomer Cincinnati, laying two and a half, minus 125 on the money line. Cincinnati 105, 48 and a half is the total. Uh, this one strikes me as a little too easy to to lay the point, so I'm, I'll I'll wait for Colby to talk me into the Bearcats. No, no. I thought if, any, if anything, I, I thought BYU played well at Kansas. If it wasn't for those two defensive touchdowns, they Kansas is won good. That yeah, Kansas yeah. is good, and they but, won at Arkansas. And Arkansas just pushed LSU to the brink. So I think BYU actually is still a, like a contender in the Big Twelve. Cincinnati's defense did play well against Oklahoma, held them to twenty points. It was annoying that they ended up pushing that game because they were out to a lead early. Uh, they were in Oklahoma field position, like yeah. inside just, the forty, just some like bad turnover, ten times. It's yeah. like how do you only have six how, points? You how losers? they not? How they didn't yeah. score a touchdown with the way they were moving the ball? Super annoying. But going back to just BYU at home, it's also a short week. I mean. Cincinnati, you just played Oklahoma. It was a massive get up spot for you at home. Now you have to travel to elevation after a very kind of physical game against Oklahoma. Provo 45 51. And oh yeah, I love a good elevation stat. BYU 41 and 9 is home favorite since 2013. And like it's just a tough spot to play. Well, and BYU's coming off back to back road games. They had Arkansas yeah. the week before. So, so if yeah. anything, they're a little undervalued. Great spot. Three for three. Wow! Do we get our swords out and uh, like that guy uh, <laughs> cross, cross streams? Swing your sword onto some uh, corporate. I'm surprised Ryan logo. Ryan wasn't worried about laying two and a half. He's usually likes to bring that stat up. I, that's literally how I started the whole uh, game. How how do I how do we not lay the two and a half? It just yeah. seems too re- too easy. Seems trappy. I'm surprised Colby didn't mention that at all. Uh. No, this okay. is dude. Come on, soaking and Provo. Well, can we get these fucking shirts already? <laughs> Colby, you're in charge. Someone, of finding please us. send us a the, I soak. one of those I soak yeah, t-shirts. I, I soak. Oh, perfect transition into the manscape read. Hey, are you planning on doing some soaking? Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe you should uh, be checking out Manscape. Not only are the leaders in below the belt grooming, but now they're going above the belt. Are you kidding me? Look at this! Look at this beautiful uh, beard I got here. It's, it, a lot of it is thanks to the Beard Hedger, a uh, new product from Manscaped, high-tech piece of art and travel size packaging with a long-lasting battery, universal charging, and a strong motor. I mean, look at Kramer's beard over there. Like that, is, you you gotta have some RPMs if you're going to be plowing through that beard. Of course, um, and they also have the Handyman Skin Safe, a technology to help reduce nicks and cuts. You can finally feel confident when going for that close shave. So you can get that. You can either get the stubbly look, you can get the beard look. You look like Jimmy G. You can look like Kramer. Everything in between, and uh, uh, obviously the um, 
Yeah, the Beard Hedger Pro. Love that thing. Uh, I, you've been using it for below the belt. It's time to uh, upgrade above the belt. And when you use our promo code SGP, 20% off and free shipping. Just head to manscaped.com. Your balls and face will thank you. Oh, that's awesome, Sean. You can also just use it, use it the same thing for everything. It, are we I mean, sure that it, it's uh, just you? Uh, yeah, BYU is now catching a point and a half. Are we going to update the line? Then? Well, why not? Okay. If it helps us, of course. What's the update. logic there? Is like Slovis injured or something? How the fuck do you? Well, if the fact that it was at two and a half tells you exactly where the number is going to move first, and so not a ton, uh, you know, not the first guy I was going to explain this to you, but. That doesn't take a ton to move from two and a half to one and a half the other way. So it does take a ton to win in Provo. Uh, again, I, I, I like it better now that they're home dogs. And you know, you you got to realize, like, you go to the store and it's like all they got is that fucking three two beer. That's that's a whole <laughs> new experience. Cincinnati, right. they'll, they'll be lost. These uh, they'll be looking for their skyline chili, oh, skyline heavy chili. beers. All right, let's let's move along. Arkansas taking on Texas A and M. This one's in Jerry's world. Filthy. Real quick, uh, uh, one guy uh, promoted uh, in Hunty in the YouTube chat saying "Soak Gambling Podcast." Oh wow. <laughs> okay. All right. I like that. Could that could be our lifestyle show. I mean, we just have to figure out a way to like what we need just need to appropriate soak to something, and then it, mm. it can live forever. And we need a good sound effect. Texas A. Please that. submit a soak sounding yeah, effect. We need a soaking sound effect. Is and it, and I like our new um maybe we should get some Lou Holtz Irish Squirter t shirts made up because oh, I, that's a pretty good Yes, that is pretty good. <laughs> I love Irish squirters. <laughs> yeah, or just Irish squirt yeah, just Irish squirting to, uh, I don't know. There's there's some Jake Jake can can polish off the end of it. Um <laughs> that that did come out interesting. <laughs> You have to know when to come. Texas A&M laying six and a half here, minus two eighty on the money line, two twenty five for Arkansas. Fifty four and a half mm -hmm. is the total. Uh, interesting nugget in this game. This is the second of what will turn into four road games for the Arkansas Razorbacks, which is a what the fuck are they doing to their own team? No, that's like, not. They're not in charge of that. That's Greg Sankey. I know it's it's the conference. What are they doing to their own yeah. team? Feeding feeding them to the wild like the the meat that a Razorback is. Uh, they call this the Southwest Classic, Sean. Yeah, these these games have been bonkers. Oh, are, crazy! And they're are they're playing it in Jerry's world correct? one more time. Oh, and this is to me this is a no brainer. Yeah, one hundred percent. We're taking Arkansas. The, the two reasons. The only thing that scares me is it's too obvious to take this dog, nope. and I, I'm worried the public dog could well, have three reasons. reasons. It's six and a half. They're begging you to lay the points before it gets to seven. Two. Same thing with the Miami Dolphins two, last week. Jerry Jones is getting older and more mm. willing to be corrupt and do something to <laughs> cheat to get his alma, alma mater a win in his stadium. And three, Jimbo has uh, Nick Saban on deck. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. Ha, it is a look ahead spot for Texas A and M. Come on, Jimbo. Come on, you can't fade Sam Pole Pork Pittman and, yeah. and any. And look, th this they're talking about him on the hot seat. What the hell? I don't even understand why he <laughs> would be on the hot seat. They almost beat LSU last week in Baton Rouge. Yeah, he's a good football they're coach. They're, yeah. they're a couple of mediocre recruiting classes away from being like Vanderbilt in the new SEC. Not, not even kidding. I mean, they already did that when they joined the SEC. Well, they used to be a powerhouse. Sure, but they—they—they're yeah. they, 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 going to be the team that goes like uh, w one win in the conference every year. All right. Yeah, Paul Pork Pittman got you covered. I'm just saying, if they get rid of him, that yeah, was. A, I, that I was feel oh, like this. Yeah, okay. This game is always close, right? Like, yeah. I, I, I can't. Always. I'm trying to remember a time where this wasn't oh, a dude, field goal game. 100% Texas A&M's looking ahead to. Fucking Alabama! It's, yeah, it's gone to overtime. Three of the, like the past. Give me Arkansas. Jerry, Jerry will find a way. Are we just gonna agree on every pick? This is excellent. bad news for the Discord. Not all right. Let's. That was the Saturday nine a.m. This one's also Saturday nine a.m. We're heading to Syracuse, New York. Q Close your eyes. Envision the Carrier Dome. I mean, Dino Babers <laughs> at home. Syracuse plus six and a half against Clemson. We've seen this story before, and the line tells you a similar story to the game we just broke down. Uh, Clemson or Syracuse plus six and a half at home plus two ten on the money line. Clemson minus two fifty. Fifty three is the total. Uh, Cl Clemson just dumped their fucking wad. Yeah, and oh, overtime game. Uh, now you they should have won that. Game. Now you got to yeah. go up to the Carrier Dome. Well, and they don't. The Carrier Dome is the one of the weird road trips in the ACC, yeah. but specifically for Syracuse. 
at 9 a.m. These slip sleepy early kicks. Uh, again, they're, the line is telling me what I need to be doing here. I didn't actually check to see if it's been updated, uh, but uh, I, you know, almost love it more at six and a half than seven, which is it, it is now in the wild, Sean. Uh, so we can graciously give ourselves a half point okay. if we want. But um, yeah, you got to take Q's here. Q's or nothing. This is a, a spot of spots. And oh, by the way, what's Syracuse's record, Colby? They're undefeated. Oh, yeah. whoa, what? Oh yeah, watch yes, out. Sir. Uh, the SEC's down. The ACC and the Pac-12 are up. This is excellent. Uh, Ryan, Ryan sounded like an SEC fan just talking about his conference, no, uh, no, hyping it up. I don't have a team anymore. Oh, okay. Ooh. My team's an FCS squad, right? Uh, now. Garrett Schrader, I think, can can Wofford? get loose a little bit. Uh, the Shredder, I, yeah, the Shredder is going to be a handful for this Clemson defense. I, I mean, this is just a great situation spot for Syracuse. Syracuse may have even been. Looking ahead past Army, they turned it on there in the second half. But um, that's a good win. That we that's why we got to do the show on Monday night though. The spread was plus nine. Oh, early Colby. on. <laughs> the Col- fuck's Col- wrong with Colby you? San Diego su- sucking out my delicious EV. Uh, I'll, I still like Syracuse <laughs> plus seven, but plus nine is you, even better. You got a, a bunch of IOUs for Andy. After I'll this take show. the seven. I think one of the biggest things. I mean, is you, you is, little worried. Well, I do think Clemson was better than Florida State, and they found a way to lose that game. Whether it was the kicker, whether it was the, the defensive touchdown that Florida State got, where Cade Klubnik couldn't see the guy coming for thirty miles away, and I, then uh, this quarterback's no good. That's my he's gonna. This is a tough yeah. road spot for him, and I think the quarterback's not good enough to not make. Well, the that that's the thing. I think Syracuse went out in the offseason and got one of the best defensive coordinators uh, in Rocky Long, the creator of the yeah. three-three-five defense. Love and him. I think he can force. Club Nick to make some more errors enough to cover seven. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Great take. Anything at uh, any we parting, keep agreeing, huh? any parting words bef- before we move on to the, the game that everyone wants to talk about. We just keep agreeing. Not quite. I guess that's a no from Sean. You no, I, I play blackjack. I mean, it's uh, a, yeah, I think he might be playing blackjack over there. It's that. a system play. Syracuse has a home dog against Clemson. We, th- this again is always a game that ends up being way closer. Ah, uh, USC heads to Boulder, Colorado, 9 a.m. Wait, this is this time right? Yeah. What the? They're all right. 9 a.m. on the West Coast, which means they're playing at 10 a.m. local time. Yeah. Is th- uh, hey, nice work, TV guys. Not aware of time zones. That's cool. USC laying. Uh, should I? Should I dare I even look to see if there's an updated number? But laying 22. Woo! Is that big enough? Minus 1300 on the money line. Colorado plus 850. Or seventy three and a half is the total. Uh, this could be a statement game for K- Caleb Williams in his Heisman campaign, or as, as the media statement world statement game for Shadur no. Sanders in his Heisman candidacy. They, this is the this they is, were broke last week. This is the great spot for Colorado. All uh, Joe Q public got their ass kicked on Colorado. No one's gonna want to go back right. on the Colorado Buffaloes. Everyone's just gonna see USC. USC doesn't play any fucking defense. They let up twenty eight. Uh, to Arizona State in Arizona, I, I think Colorado is going to be able to get a ton of garbage points and and keep this a game. I, I I thought they'd be able to hang around a little bit better in Oregon. Obviously, they were completely outmatched, but USC doesn't have the dominant trench offensive line, defensive line. They don't have the chip on their shoulder. They're not at home. Like there's a a ton of things that's way different about this matchup. Um, and USC has failed to cover the spread in five of its last six road games against non AP ranked teams. USC's not going to turn it on really until they have to. And I think, I think they'll be in cruise control in Colorado. It's just, what are you talking about? We they're going to get USC's they're going to get a shot here from USC. 100% these players are seeing these Colorado USC couldn't stop anybody though. Dude. I'm not, but all right, this is you. Come on. Guys. I love the come on to here. I love the Come 22 on, here. Let's go. I, what are you I, doing? I'm going to make a prediction. Colorado. Okay, will, this is disgusting. Colorado will have more than like three, it, like 300 yards passing and probably, I don't know. They can't run the ball, but they, this is a great, yeah. do is, they rush the field if they win this one? Yes. <laughs> and they deserve to this time. And Ryan, Come on. this is when Dion yeah, has them at full attention. This is when he they're gave completely up. focused. He said, this is my worst team. You got to get me this oh, year. Come on. That's not a good, I mean, he this said is, that out loud. This, this line's ridiculous to me. Really? I don't think USC is that good. They give up a ton of yardage. Yeah. So I, I their think defense is soft. Yeah. 
It's also on the road, thin air. They got to go up there to elevation. It's a back-to-back yeah. road spot for USC. Yeah, no, I, I I know all the reasons why you're supposed to normally like Colorado, but Colorado's coach said we're the, this is the worst team I'm ever gonna have. Okay. And USC saw what Oregon did. They are they're all chomping at the bit. That was in I don't think, I don't think no US, one wins in Austin. U, USC yeah. isn't motivated like that. They're not. They're, Colorado's there's down a, their top two. Maybe are we going to see a viral video of the coach? Um, you know, pre pregame speech before this game. No, they don't give a USC doesn't care about this game at all. That's an insane take. Okay, U- USC doesn't care about beating Colorado, no. the team that has g- no. got the most attention in college football this what, year. What? That's what? That's an insane what, take. What, what it's USC, not like their defense has a fuck you mode to it. It's yeah. not like it's Georgia. What? What like, chatter have you seen about this game? What? What back and forth between the USC and what not, extra I'm motivation? Not on TikTok. I don't know, but all sorts of it based on things I've listened to and things I've read. Okay. I I haven't I, seen anything. I think there's about a lot of jealousy from players all across the country on what. What's being how how this team is being focused in on, and I think it, like it's probably fair. And you, if I was a five star at USC, I might try a little harder this week. That's all I'm saying. Uh, do you like the Jerry Rice's son against Deion Sanders' son? It's fun. Right? Yeah, why not? I mean, I, I love the idea of having star. I one thing I do like that Deion's doing. I, you know, he's probably got to find a good balance, but I do like having stars on the sideline. I, I do like the way that brings a certain bang to the game, certain certain buzz. But also, I mean, it's it just it. You know, it's tough when you're gonna get fucking kicked in the nuts again. So, lay the points, baby. Fight on. That's the famous, best I can do. Famous last words. Hey, shout out to uh, Veasan. You guys don't know, we got a uh, a show on Veasan every Friday night, 9 p.m. Pacific. You can watch over on Veasan.com, and of course, uh, head over to Veasan.com. Subscribe. Use the promo code SGP. They have a forty uh, percent off their uh, football season special, so get in on the football season. Get in on that nice savings. Uh, they got a ton of great stuff over there: betting splits, betting strategies, best bets, picks. Every there's just a shit ton of information over on Veasan, and they're running a little contest. Uh, our show against some of the other shows to see who can get the uh, the most signups. Obviously, we want to dominate. We want to win this contest, but if we do. Uh, the winning show gets a thousand dollar Super Bowl future. Now, of course, we're going to try and cut you guys in on it. We got to win the contest first. Beeson.com slash subscribe. Use the promo code SGP to sign up. Then go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Beeson to submit your proof of purchase. Again, if we win the uh, contest, you'll get a vote on what we're going to use our Super Bowl future on. And then uh, if it hits, you get an equal piece of the action. So get started. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Beeson. Colby, what would you use? I know you're a college guy. I don't watch NFL, but what would you use on the uh, Super Bowl future if you had to right now? I'm gonna, uh, look, I, I know he wants me to say he wants me to say Eagles. He's no, trying he to he, he's he he's trying to get me to go there. But I just watched. I was uh, at a Bronco bar oh. watching the Dolphins just score at at will, and must it must have been you must have been making your stomach sick. Oh no! I mean, I enjoyed it because I was at the Bronco Bar. Oh, okay. you know what I mean? Like, and seeing enjoyed people, some sports, seeing pain. sports misery is my favorite thing to watch. <laughs> they're and, losing. And they lost yeah. by fifty points, and they're road favorites. Oh, That's dude, how this bad one guy is are. sitting there at this bar, right? And he keeps on saying, "Fucking guard him!" <laughs> right? And it's like I, he's getting more and more amped as it, there's probably like nine people in this fucking bar. It was a true dive bar. But uh, you know, and you I'm pretty a, sure he got arrested. You got to love hammered. that yeah. McDaniel's is doing it with like a, a basically like a futuristic uh, option approach. Uh, there's some there's some concepts in there that uh, that you you have to enjoy watching. Yeah, and the look, no look right handed pass could could have mm. ran it up. Could have ran it up. What, didn't. Could, I liked your take here. Continue. Could have ran it up, yeah. and he didn't. You know, like. It's funny. Uh, some people said he did run it up, and I'm like, wait a second. They didn't throw a pass on that final drive. They could have kicked a field goal too. They could have kicked yeah. a field Listen, goal. Listen, so you're right. you're in on the Dolphins, Colby. Well, I mean, look, I hate the Dolphins, but I'm saying that was that that watching that offense, it was pretty. If you think they ran Patriot, it up, you're like, so, not. So Dolphins are nine to one. If we win the contest and we and they win the Super Bowl, it'd be nine thousand dollars split between us and whoever signed up. Can we get a Dolphins Eagles Super Bowl like an Ace Ventura? That would be. Oh, wait, was that That's the, the Super, Super Bowl, Bowl? Ace Ventura? Who wins? I don't think I they don't, ever. I don't know if they reveal that. Okay, we we might have to 
to dig deep on that. I might have to hit, contact well, the writer. It would be a tough spot. I mean, no, doesn't he miss the field goal? I don't remember the Super Bowl actually happening. So, Colby, it'd be a movie. tough spot because we all know what happens if Tua and Jalen Hurts are in the same championship game together. <laughs> pew pew pew. That's a college <laughs> reference. Sean might not get it. Oh no, we'll I get it. it later. I get 9 it. Nine a.m. on the West Coast. <laughs> oh, I just don't want to insult your team because it'll, it'll actually hurt your feelings. Top of the food chain, three and zero NFC East. Mm, interesting. Sean, Sean Reds, Redskins names coming back. Sean heavily projecting. See no, no. I just. I, why should I take chirping from a guy whose team is barely beat the Cardinals? Redskins names coming back. Yeah, guys. look out. There we go. I'd watch your tone. You haven't played Sports the Cardinals are back. yet. <laughs> Kentucky host Florida. It, what do they call this? Call me the the big the world's biggest cocktail party. No, that's Florida Georgia. Oh, all right. Yeah. What what do they call this one? Uh, just a bunch of Kentucky people oh. hammered party drug trafficking. Yeah. I think when they, <laughs> at least when they're playing in Florida, that's what they call it. Uh, the the uh, hydrocodone bowl. Yeah, the, the pain, yeah heavily <laughs> the painkiller bowl. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna get you strapped up here. Uh, Brought man, to you I, by Mer. I watched the documentary about the pain and gain, like guys. Uh, pretty wild ass shit about the how easily they set up this fucking pain clinic in a strip mall. Anyway, Kentucky laying two and a half. Uh, Stoops. Weed, it's smoking my weed. Oh no, it's it's got nothing to do with weed. It's about the the good stuff. Oh, Kentucky, sure. Kentucky grows some good weed. Oh, they 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 do they do a lot of stuff there. But uh, minus two and a half, minus one thirty five. Stoops, uh, looking like he's gonna maybe have to work a little harder to get to that uh, sweet sweet contract bonus this year at seven wins. Florida plus one fifteen on the money line. Forty five and a half is the total. Neither one of these teams is jumping out as a team that I, uh, you know, hey, come bet on me. But uh, I don't know. Uh, has Florida really been that bad? Is that uh, game it? I, I mean, it, Kentucky's not been very good is, either. Is one of nine on third downs against uh, Charlotte? One of ten, including fourth downs. They were looking ahead to Kentucky, right? This is a big rivalry game. Can't we give them a little credit for it's, that? But Florida's defense has been playing great. Fifth in total defense, 18th in scoring defense. To me, this is. As a as a college football historian, sorry, Colby. I I the last time Florida lost three in a row, it was from nineteen forty eight to nineteen fifty one. I I just I, I I think the rivalry balances out and this is a this is just a Florida spot all day. Kentucky well, hadn't beaten Florida from, from nineteen eighty seven all the way until two thousand eighteen. Since then they've won three of five. I think Kentucky's the better program right now. Mm. I'm gonna take Kentucky at home. And two straight. Uh, and That's who, what I'm saying. I don't think they're going to make it three straight. I think I I'm with you that Kentucky is probably the better team, better program at home, but I'm banking on the rivalry fact that Florida is not going to let it go three in a row. I think Kentucky's got the better coach. I think they got the home environment. I, I think they have the better quarterback. I, everywhere I look here, I just think you got to take Kentucky in the spot. The first ever matchup uh, in the rivalry, Kentucky won 52 0. And the last matchup in the rivalry saw Will Levis and Anthony Richardson face off. You won't, be, the, the, you got to hear these quarterback lines. We tried to tell everyone to watch these match this matchup before they drafted these quarterbacks. But Will Levis was 13 for 24, 202 yards, a touchdown, and interception, took three sacks. Anthony Richardson, 14 of 35 for 143 yards, <laughs> zero touchdowns, two interceptions, oh took God. a sack, uh, and rushed six times for 12 yards. All all time uh, dud of a game, but it is a revenge spot for Florida. Uh, this I'm gonna I'm less inclined to ignore the number here too. I I do think this this kind of signals we should take Florida, Sean. Um, both these teams suck this year, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take Florida out the positive outcome of, of Florida getting a win here is we really get to see stoops potentially sweat on his way to getting that year extension. <laughs> this year. So, I mean, is he, is he a lock to get seven right now? I mean, the sec is way down. I yeah, know. That's I what think I mean. so. Yeah. Well, I, that doesn't mean he's part of the SEC. I mean, yeah, but uh, so, you know, before they had like for all. sure losses, the only for sure losses is Georgia. They even yeah. get Bama coming to Lexington, which I think is a lot more win. What They're a great beatable. year to catch Bama! They're beatable. Yeah, it could be Saban's last year. I'm hearing. All right, he's uh, on the ropes. Couple, uh, couple games off for the Discord. Uh, moving along, to Kentucky, the, maybe uh, looking ahead to uh, to Georgia as well. Af Although I don't know if they're going to look ahead that much. Aforementioned uh, Georgia Bulldogs, D A W G. We're heading to Auburn. 
Oh, right. Real quick. Alabama. Uh, you're, you're, all the trash you've been oh. talking about, the Eagles, uh, Georgia defenders, has been. It, they must be having it up in the locker room because uh, Jordan Davis breakout season, Jalen Carter dominating on another level. So they're, they're three keeping games, receipts. three games into a season. You sound like me talking about my best ball teams. Doesn't <laughs> matter yet. Sean doesn't you, matter. You do fire off uh, best the, ball. It's very Just continuously early. update me on your best. These ball are teams. large men with, uh, with over with, with knees that are just waiting to explode. So let's not get too excited. 1230 on the West coast. Georgia is laying 14 and a half here. First real road test for the bulldogs. First test at all against Auburn uh, war Eagle plus 500 at home here. Minus 700. The other way, 46 and a half is the total. I uh, I mean, it feels a little diabolical, but I, have we seen this kid uh, back get tested? Don't we want, don't we want to just fade him to see? No, do, do we know? No. Do we know? Are I we think, sure? I think Auburn Auburn's sucks. playing some defense. No, it doesn't. No, it's not real. They should have lost to Cal. They they look like shit last week. Their only score was a defensive touchdown. Uh, so I'm we, with Colby. We, this we is trust just the a, quarterback. We don't think the the spot. We don't think it will be lit there. Oh, it will be lit. But I don't. We don't care. think this could be. Have we seen him do, in a tough do spot? I, do I need to tell you the last six matchups? Uh, Georgia forty two ten. Georgia thirty four ten. Georgia twenty seven six. Georgia hey, in 19 there was a 7 point game. Uh in 18 it was 27-10. In 17 it was 28-7. I, no. I are you make, trying to make a point? They're going to fuck them up, dude. They're not they, they they struggle to move the ball against Cal and A&M. <laughs> A&M's defense is not good. Yeah, I, I just don't see Auburn. To me it's less about Georgia's offense cooking and more just about Auburn's defense or sorry, Auburn's offense. Like what's uh, Auburn's team total? Like what do they have to get to to cover this game? They gotta get. I would say to cover. Yeah, twenties. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't see them getting in the twenties. So I. I can't take. I gotta. I gotta lay the road chalk here with Georgia. Dude, I think this could be an ass whooping. I think there's this like, coming into the year, I thought Auburn might be a little the strip club freeze coming in, but that <laughs> offense, that offense is just not there yet, man. And and I. I don't see them having much success against Georgia. Uh. Well, uh, can I change your mind? It looks like uh, being reported hours ago that Carson Beck has just signed his first big NIL deal with zero FG energy. Oh, I mean, all the Georgia players are getting paid. Come on. Uh, Why do you think they're winning national championships? Oh, it's just he's driving he's 180 miles an hour. Okay, we shouldn't bring that up. Sean doesn't like it when you bring up negative things about Jalen Carter. We will. I'll, I'll edit this that that out. But uh, yeah, I I I kind of want to get cute here. Go for Take it. Take Auburn. I, I, we've you not producer Josh also on Auburn. Carson Beck has not, we've not seen him get tested. This will be a, a hostile situation. Dude, they could have Beck, the musician playing quarterback for Georgia. And they'd fucking cover this two turntables <laughs> and a touchdown <laughs> Beck, noted Scientologist. And he's getting his phaetons red really? in the end zone. Look at him. I didn't know he was, a he's believing in weird alien stuff. Yeah, Beck noted Scientologist. All right, well, you guys enjoy. Uh, you and the rest of the public will be all Carson over those Carson Beck dogs. is not a loser, baby. <laughs> I know that was nice, Sean. That, you, you sound uh, like I'm a, in my Taylor Swift. I was going to say uh, Kelsey mode. By the way, I mean not to crowbar this in, but if the the Swifties can drive uh, Kelsey merchandise <laughs> up 400, percent yeah, a guy who plays for a Super Bowl winning team. I'm very worried for the Chiefs. I'm sorry, <laughs> Chiefs fans. I think uh, the water out there may cure the the hangover from a Super Bowl, but I, I have a feeling it's not going to do anything for these. these Carson great. Beck's going to be getting a devil's haircut after this game, celebrating the big win <laughs> in Auburn. Is Good. that a Ke- son, Kelsey? Kelsey th- th- this thing's going to only go south from here, right? It, this might be the first block he's made well, in his life it, when he it, blocks it, her phone number in six months. Uh, I was right? going to say the mom's involved. <laughs> it's, it's getting messy already. We he, he brought the. You know, I mean, again, like it's not. Colby didn't, you know, show up with his girlfriend day one into the office. That would have been <laughs> no. a little awkward if all of a sudden Colby shows up with his lady. We're about to do the podcast, and she's just sitting. Right oh, she's just to here to watch. <laughs> and then she's like, she's not really sure when to I'm cheer. Just, I, the the fact the that mom she, looked really annoyed. The fact that she turned on the Eagles fandom so easily is. <laughs> What about Reed Blankenship, huh? Yeah, Dallas Goddard, too good for you. Wow. 
Now, if you if you started dating Reed Blankenship, now that's a that's a move I can respect. Great open field tackler, great in space. Uh, got an interception. How about that great that teaser swift for, ass fullback for the Texans that took that oh, kickback? Oh, that was a that great was, best that was best fabulous. play of the week. That best was, play of the week, right there. Dog. That was absolutely fabulous. All right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting cute. I'm keeping the discord off Auburn, keeping them for myself. Next 12 30 on the West coast, we're heading to Austin, Texas, where Kansas comes to town. They're catching 17 plus 480 on the money line. Texas minus 650, 64 and a half is the total. I mean, I feel like a complete bum. I know what's going to happen here. Kansas is going to get their ass kicked, but I'm really? taking the point. Yeah. I'm taking the points. I'm going to bet the money line. I'm all in da- Jalen Daniels. I don't know. I mean, I I feel good that I emailed to get that bet posted at certain places so I could get down on him at hundred to one to win the Heisman. Uh, well, this, this certainly this I is mean, a game that would, he wins this game. They he's certainly elimination game. Sock elimination is, game. He's if he doesn't win this game, he's out. Well, of course, Jayhawks do have. Uh, they've won in Austin. Last time they played in Austin, yeah, yeah they won. I, I, which makes it scarier. I think. I, I like this Jayhawks team a ton. Yeah, I think I they're a very good team. I think seventeen points is way too much. Uh, what about their running back Neil? This dude has been just a straight dog, averaging seven yards per carry with three hundred ninety-four yards, five scores on the ground. I think if an upset happens, obviously Jalen Daniels has to play well, but I think. Uh, Neil having a big game on the ground, keeping the ball out of Texas's offense's hands, I, I think is huge as well. And this is a massive look ahead spot for Texas. They are looking ahead to the Red River friendship uh, battle. Oh. I, I like Kansas a lot here. I, it could be a live dog situation as well. Well, and how about this? The quarterback play that Texas has played all year. They got Baylor's backup. They got Wyoming's backup, and they got Alabama's potential backup and Jalen Milrow. Uh, all they got was JT Daniels, who uh, is a true lawn chair. This is someone they have not faced that is a dual threat that could really yeah. stress out their defense. And uh, I think I think Kansas's defense has been a lot better than what people thought too coming into this year. So. Uh, you gotta take the points here with the Red River Shootout on deck. Yeah. Oh, and you don't don't you always? I mean, it's uh, on the calendar every year. Fade both sides of it going into it. I was, you know, candidly a little surprised that Oklahoma was looking like a competent uh, team this year, mostly defensively, I guess. But yeah, fade Texas. But this is a system play. We're never gonna take Texas here. No, like putting this on the card yeah. is just there, like there's never gonna be. It's a like the Cowboys. Outcome. You never take them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fair. Fair. Hey, you know what else is a system play? Signing up for Underdog Fantasy. Oh man, if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? for uh, they've extended the 100% match up to $500 uh, till October 1st. UnderdogFantasy.com promo code SGPN. Of course, you can get down on all the uh, the college and NFL fantasy pick 'em. This is so fun, and they also have a $100,000 Sunday. So. Every Sunday they give away a hundred thousand dollars, ten k to each person who plays um, the featured fantasy leg. And I'm I'm seeing do you, Ryan. Do you know which one? Oh, so George Pickens uh, receiving yards is the featured uh, play this week. So all you have to do is play that in one of your fantasy pickums. Doesn't matter if it hits. Can be a loser. Not gonna matter either way. You're automatically entered to win uh, t- a chance at 10 K, which is just awesome. And it's uh, they post the usernames. It is. It, it, uh, if you want to add a little rush, just open it up their uh, social media on Tuesday or whatever they post them. See if you got that 10 K nice little, uh, l- little fun there. Colby um, real quick, Sean. Yes. Correction. Uh, they're uh, shout out to underdog for being progressive. They're changing it. So each day it will be a different player. To oh, enter. Okay. so if you don't like George Pickens, you can wait till tomorrow and see what's going to pop up on the old. Okay, bonus. got it. So today is George Pickens. Yeah, tomorrow going to be another player. I, I like this. Yeah, yeah, you're not locked in. Not locked. Again, in. it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, uh, higher or lower. You're entered. Brennan Armstrong. We're looking to fade him, Colby. Uh, do you fade him passing touchdowns, passing yards, rushing yards? What do you uh, What do you think, Brendan Armstrong's stats? What is the? Uh, do, do we have them in front of you right now? Yeah, one and a half passing oh, cool. touchdowns, two thirty-four and a half passing yards. 51 and a half rushing yards. I'll take the under on the rushing yards. Okay, going lower, 51 and a half rushing yards. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN and of course, 
Make sure you sign up for Hall of Fame bets as well. They got that sweet, sweet, sweet parlay optimizer. Um, and it's it just makes researching the game so much easier. You do, they they take care of all the heavy lifting over at uh for the good folks over at Hall of Fame Bets. Just go to hofbets.com, use the promo code SGPN, right? Or no. Do we have it up on yes, SGPN to get fifty percent off first month. I thought it was I thought there was a mistake on the graphic at first. No, no, not a mistake on the bra- graphic. A little copy paste error over on uh, my end. But you know who doesn't have errors? Hall of Fame bets. This tool is awesome. I've been on a heater with first touchdown. Of course I'm using Hall of Fame bets. It makes it so much easier than wasting a shit ton of time over on some of these other stat websites. They help you craft more intelligent data-driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning Hall of Fame bets. Uh, you were speaking about underdog uh, yes. earlier before we get back to the game. We're worth noting that uh, much like uh, you talking about uh, some performances three weeks into a season, uh, best ball mania for no big deal. Got uh, I got a team in the top 400. Oh my God. I felt good to say that. All right. So, uh, no, I don't win anything uh, until the end of week 17, but that doesn't matter. All right. 3 p.m. We're heading to the, the, the after the, the, do we call this the witching hour for, uh, for college football? We head to the afternoon slate 6 p.m. Lo- or I guess it's 5 p.m. local time, 3 p.m. on the West Coast. LSU heads to Ole Miss. Magnolia Bowl. Oxford, Mississippi. Lane once again uh, talked too much shit, and Saban had to beat his ass. <laughs> LSU laying two and a half, minus one forty on the money line here. Ole Miss plus one twenty coming back. Sixty seven and a half is the total. I mean, I, I I'm very mad at myself for taking Ole Miss and once again losing yeah. with Lane Kiffin against Alabama. Big L. You know, that was just a great spot for Alabama. No one believed in them. Lane Kiffin just needs to shut the fuck up. This is a this is an interesting game because I I like LSU's defense isn't good. I, I can imagine Ole Miss putting up a bunch of points. How are they gonna do after that letdown against Alabama? But then on the other side, it's like, yeah, the LSU defense on the road, I don't feel great about. The home team has covered the spread in nine of the last ten games between LSU and Ole Miss. When in doubt, I guess take the home dog, but I do think LSU is a better team. I'll Colby, what are you doing here? Well, I mean, that's the thing. I came into the the season thinking LSU to the plot to, to the CFP. To but they the, don't seem to have the defense for that, yeah, right? Yeah, they don't look very good. I'm still gonna go nope. with the team with the better quarterback. And I'm one of these guys that like I don't think Lane Kiffin's a very good coach. So yeah. like um Do you think Jackson Dart's a better quarterback? I think LSU has the better quarter. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm joking yeah. with you. I missed it. Went over my head. Well, I'm, you know, I'm still I, in Wyoming. We're a sophisticated you know. guy. You, know. uh, you got to speak slow. Yeah, He's still yeah, in Wyoming. Time. Saying, buddy. All right. Um, no, I, I just got to go LSU. Just on system play here on, on the really? fact that I bet you last week's get law or, you know, they barely beat Arkansas. I think Brian Kelly and his yeah. family yell at uh, that might have been a look yeah. ahead for LSU. Although Arkansas isn't, isn't horrible. I'm with you. I'll, I'll stick with LSU here. It's it's tough because I could see Ole Miss bouncing back a little bit and 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 their offense being able to put up a bunch of points on LSU. But end of day, I do think Brian Kelly better quarter or sorry better coach and then better quarterback as well. I co-sign that. So Kramer, what are you doing here? You taking the lane train? Ah, uh, I I'm mad at him, and I don't want that to influence my handicap. Mm-hmm. But I think I think uh, I think Colby's right. I mean, and this all isn't this also just a game that you have to win if you're LSU? Yeah. Like, don't you have to come in here and make it's a, a must statement? win? It's a two and a half point spread. Again, it, they're telling us what to do. Should and you know what? New rule: SEC is all trash. Give me the points. Ole Miss. <laughs> it, always take the points in the SEC. It's like the new uh, ACC Coastal. SEC. Yeah. SEC. <laughs> S. I mean, I, that's a, a great new rule. I don't have to think about any SEC games. Just take the points. <laughs> 430 on the West Coast. We're heading to Durham, North Carolina for Notre Dame and Duke. It's kind of funny to hear people talk about a Notre Dame Duke game in football that's meaningful. Uh, Notre Dame really needs to just suck it up and join the ACC at this point. The All Illuminati Conference is really coming together nicely with the additions of Stanford and Cal. Well, you got the West Coast now, so you can 
build the tunnel maybe through South Bend if you can get those pussies to join up. <laughs> Notre Dame laying five and a half here, minus two fifteen on the money line. Duke plus one eighty. 52 and a half is the total. Duke is aware of the 11 man rule in uh, modern NFL. So uh, do you think they'll be putting on goal line situation? They'll be playing all 11. Oh, how great is that shit, dude? Uh, I mean, you know what though? Again, <laughs> much like horrible much, way to lose. Much like twice coach, in a row, much like coach prime, uh, free Marcus Freeman owned it. He, uh, he ate it. He talked about it, explained what happened, explained that they've installed some additional, uh, <laughs> Break the glass measures in the in the next situation, so they know how to f- get 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 through it. Uh, again, I, I like the idea of a coach uh, being somewhat transparent and talking through failure, and so I I uh, I, I like it big picture for 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 Mr. Freeman. But oh God, what a what a deflating what a deflating loss. There's no way you can take them here in a game against the yeah. Duke team. We said this a year. And a couple of weeks ago, we were watching that first Duke game, and they were surprising the fuck out of us. And we said, "Oh, oh wow. I, I they, like Duke. They might a year." Okay, so I, to I was show. on. No, Duke. I, I was had, on Duke. Too. I had Duke money line. <laughs> I, had, I had some nice Duke wins. Last and year. we were talking about how wow Duke might be ahead of schedule. Again, you guys can pretend like that didn't happen, okay. but okay. And it, it seems as though they're they're th- this is the exact kind of spot where you you strap in, you take Duke. It's a letdown spot for Notre Dame. Duke looks amazing. They got a quarterback that, you know, best thing that happened around those parts since guy by the name of Vanilla Vic. And he looks electric. Is he a Heisman candidate? What's his price in the Heisman? Colby and I did have uh both uh Duke over three wins in the twenty twenty two uh, mm. college football year. Take so that great to about, the bank. That's what's great about Kramer's spreadsheets. You can always go back, dive deep. I think I I'm with you. you. You so you're telling me you weren't surprised at how fucking good they looked right out of the gate last year. I was I mean, high I on the some, Mike Elko hire. I had him. I, had him well, I watched the fucking game with you. Did, you, did, you, I, did quote, I think they that, would win nine games? No, but I no, thought I just, I'm just talking yeah. about that first game when they came out and they fucking were firing. Uh, again, uh, you guys pr- can pretend like you knew the whole time. You had the fucking answer key over there. No, your, I, and your little almanac. Yeah, says it. Says it over there, buddy. <laughs> your, right? your, your fat little girlfriends. <laughs> I did have them on the money Fish line sandwiches. against Northwestern. Yeah. I, so unless you're ca- talking about the thirty to nothing Temple win. Yeah. Okay. Fish sandwiches, Sean. Yeah, and lemonade. There, that no one delicious. on the planet <laughs> thought they were going to look that good. All right, I agree. They were I'm slightly better than how oh good I thought God. they were. I'm actually pick. on Notre Dame in this spot, man. Really? Uh, I Talk think, me into it, Colby. Well, no, I they, just, they I just, just think shot their wad. They those lost. two, they they should have won. And uh, yeah, I think Notre Dame is a complete football team, mm. and I think that they'll have ground success against Duke. Duke Elko's done an unbelievable job, but they just don't have the guys to 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 block Notre Dame. I believe so. I think Notre Dame gets it done. Uh, and I, I like I, if if Notre Dame had won against Ohio State, I think maybe you take Duke there. But the fact they lost, they get they get focused. They get they they still can get to the CFP. It's interesting because games like that can kind of work both ways. I'm with you. Like if they would have won, you definitely take Duke. But to Kramer's point, also like that was an emotional game where they, they you got to feel pretty drained. Now you're going on the road. That's a tough spot. Uh, but you may and you can really see how the media machine works. I, I mean, the more that I kind of was was thinking about this in my head, it's like what. Why are they going out of their way to talk up Duke right now? I know Duke's a good team, but the mainstream media would never talk up Duke. They're doing so to make sure Notre Dame has a nice bringback story, right? They have oh, the so loss. You're on board with me. No, no, I'm saying they have the loss, but they can get right back into the playoff conversation with the right amount of wins because look, this would be a great road win against Duke. Mm. I think Duke ruins that, honestly. Because I, I think, you know, everything you guys saw last year because you're you're college football profits. Yep. Is continuing this year, and there's no reason to be against it. The, the Colby's point might be good, but if you're not getting maximum effort from these guys, I think that will negate that that glaring advantage. And I think, uh, yeah, I mean, they did hold, they did a really good job of clamping down on Ohio State's offense. Um, Sam Hartman had like 300 yards and, and three touchdowns last year against Duke uh, in a loss. Yeah, by the way. Oh, all but right. He That's did, gonna he did throw an interception. All right, that seals it. Give me Notre Dame minus five and a half. Yeah. Go Irish. Sean's Sean's uh, leaning into the fucking uh, clover angle. Six p.m. on the West Coast. Stark Vegas, Mississippi, Mississippi State, Hail State. They host Alabama. Alabama laying fourteen and a half minus six fifty on the money line. Forty 
Six and a half is the total. Uh, plus four seventy five for Mississippi State coming back the other way. Uh, maybe the shine wearing off. Uh, Hell State a little bit. Uh, this might be the the beginning of the the slow burn to the end. I did just say SEC dogs are nothing. <laughs> maybe maybe we have to take the points Mississippi here. State dead last in the SEC in third down conversions. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe overhauling your entire offensive system. Yeah, not good. <clears throat> I'll ring the cowbell, but uh, yeah. I think you got to give me Alabama minus fourteen and a half. Oh. I think that was like a get right spot for them. No, this is the this is like the. Uh, you if you ring it slower, it sounds like the cart that has all. Bring the dead out your dead. Yeah, all the dead. All the dead Monty people. Python reference for all yeah. the young folks. Yeah, you know. Colby, are you on Alabama minus fourteen and a half? I thought, I thought Milro. They at least figured out he's the guy. They got it dialed in a little bit. You yeah. want me to do a Colby I mean, impression? I, I think. Give me Will Rogers. <laughs> no, uh, I I think Mississippi State can like bottle them up a little bit, but I I just worry about Mississippi State's offense against yeah. Bama's defense. I'll, I'll I'll lay the points with Bama, even though I don't I don't feel great about this game. What what don't you feel great about? I don't think Alabama is very talented on offense. Their offensive line is one of the bottom ten offensive lines in sacks. So weird. How did they? Um, how did it get to this point? Well, not they, everyone can pay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's crazy. He's got Jimbo on deck. Does that matter at all? It's also a back. This is the first road uh, game in a back to back road spot for Mister Saban. Yeah, I. I uh, That's the first real road start from. Oh no, he started at Arkansas last year, right? Yeah, I think you lay the points, but uh, I don't. No, you know what? Let you, see, we're we're troubled right now, and I created a rule. Give me Mississippi State. <laughs> SEC is a we, trash we're, conference. We're gonna cut together. If this doesn't work, it'll be a funny <laughs> clip. When I'm, uh, I'm take sticking the with points. Bama. I, I just think 48 SEC, 17. SEC. <laughs> The, uh, this is an Alabama run up the score. Nick Saban getting his dick hard. Oh, again. he's got Jimbo on deck. He he has one eye on Jimbo. <laughs> no, he understands where the he knows he knows he needs some style points. All right, watch uh, nightcap in the old Pac-12. Uh, cross the one out. Uh, Pac-2. That's actually the low. That's the T-shirt. Maybe it's Pac-12, and you you X out the one. <laughs> Uh, Washington, who, by the way, I at one point in the summer, was yeah, picking, you were all in on that line, right? Very deep playoff run. Uh, that M- Michael Penix and and the, and they look electric. They played no one, but they look electric. They're laying eighteen as they travel to Tucson to face Arizona. The Wildcats are plus five fifty on the money line. Wow. Washington minus eight hundred sixty seven and a half is the total. I'm not betting against Washington. Period. Ying. That's the Washington buzz saw. I'll say this though. I I'm a sucker for a home dog, and. Washington probably looking ahead to Oregon. Are they going to have the? Are, are they going to have the foot on the pedal? The pedal of the metal. They, they have the whole season. They have. They've literally had the the foot on the pedal the entire season. I think. I think this is. Um, this is a. I don't. I don't. I'll take Arizona because it's eighteen. I don't. I don't feel great about it though. Uh, Washington taking on the Arizona schools in the desert since 2010, oh, no. three and eight. Fuck. Yeah, three and eight. And and look, what was the thing? I mean, look, Washington looks incredible. They should yeah. be ranked one or two in my my opinion. But um, they've covered every. No, they, they Arizona is an easy game. team to well, look past. They, they, they missed covering against Tulsa by a half. What was the flaw the last number. season with Washington? Their pass defense. Well, they played Taylor Green and Boise State. They can't really pass. Tulsa certainly can't pass. Michigan State can't pass. Uh, and then last week, who'd they get again last week? It was, uh, well, I got it right. I got it right here for you. Cal. Yeah. They can't pass either. So like this is, they're playing Jaden Delora. Who's a wild card, but they have really good wideouts. Jacob cowing uh, McMillan, Sh- uh, Sean and I watched Delora carve up UCLA last year in the Rose bowl. And he was, I mean, if nothing else, you could see him being really, really dynamic in a garbage time situation yeah. to cover 18 points. Yeah, I, I I I think I think we uh I think we take the points here. Yep, I'm with you, Arizona. Oh. Uh, they beat Kramer. Mich- what are you doing? No, you I, said you I, locked in on Michael Penix because they. I mean, they've won by. I mean, 50, 56 to nineteen in a Boise State game that we thought was like service. They okay. They ran it up. <laughs> Tulsa ran it up. Michigan State ran it up. But but uh, hold on, look, they caught Michigan State the week they fired Tucker. 
So like, uh, they haven't really been on the road. It like, doesn't count. Washington like, knows that they have to keep making statements because people don't watch football this late. Yeah, to Colby's point, their only road game was Lansing after midnight. Mel was, uh, <laughs> and they won by thirty. Making eight. phone calls. Have to know when and to they call. won by he thirty-three is, points. He is defiantly fighting this thing. I don't know if you've seen some of the storylines. Yeah. But he's calling out the chancellor. If they investigated your personal life, they'd wow. find some embarrassment. Yeah, this stuff. is the problem when you when you <laughs> you gotta maybe rein back these these football coaches and their contract. Easy point out in the YouTube chat. The fact that it's week four and Penix hasn't played a full game is crazy. Prediction: Michael Penix will play a full game this week. Uh, they're going to score five. a lot of. I mean, come on. Yeah, what? Uh, Colby, who has the best receiving core in the country? Ohio State. Either Ohio State or Washington. Ohio State, then Washington. But Arizona's not that far away. Mm. Like Arizona's got a really good receiving core. I feel like it's All like right, probably top fun. twenty. Have, yeah. that, I'll I'll circle it right now. You guys just got cute. Mm. Just mm. got cute. All right. Cute game of the week. Just got cute. <laughs> Time for the lock dog tease and bonus lock. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Kramer, what do you got for the good folks? All right. Uh, I, the new system also involves looking back and seeing where we agreed. That's generally a good thing. Uh, lock number one, give me Syracuse plus the touchdown at home. Lock number two, give me Arkansas plus the points in Ooh. Jerry world. Look ahead spot for Mr. Jimbo and Texas A and M for my dog. Uh Oh, have we seen Carson Beck? In a tough environment, <laughs> Auburn plus five hundred on the money line. Okay, tease haven't been doing well. I, actually, scratch that Auburn tease. A new rule: don't put dogs from the SEC in your dog category. Even though you like dogs, give me Kansas plus four eighty. Oh, That's a more fun. It. Ah, fuck Texas. Dog. Horns down. Horn. We we were doing the horns down in Vegas not too long ago, and someone got offended on the other side of the glass. Must be the Pac-12 or the Big Twelve commissioner. Uh, the SEC said horns down is cool. I, I believe. Can you confirm that, Colby? We're allowed uh, to say it again. I think so. But they they horns you, down. But, but, if, but if you storm the field, they'll they'll try to find you like two hundred grand or something. Not in the Pac-12, man. Come to Colorado. Actually, yeah, the Big Twelve. They might have to talk to the Colorado fans for all their crowd rushing. All right, not been doing great on the teaser. So let's get back to the uh, let's get back to what what gets us there, right? Think like Colby. He's like Colby Duke plus 11 and a half. <laughs> okay. Washington minus 11, uh, 12, but yeah, minus 12. He said, think like Colby Sean. Yeah. See, yeah Colby, he Colby it. routinely <laughs> gets that wrong. Colby right. will always be, give himself a point or lose a point. Uh, and oh, what am I thinking? USC minus 16. That is on brand. All right, for me, give me uh, lock number one, BYU plus one and a half. Oh, lock number two, Kansas plus seventeen. And then I'm going back and forth, Arkansas, Syracuse. I I do like uh, Kansas as well. Um, oh man, you know if I were, Arkansas because it's gonna... like a neutral field, you could see them screwing over Texas A&M, Clemson, Syracuse always plays them tough. Well, to, to me, if I if I were gonna go, the Syracuse one is best because the quarterback for Clemson is like if he came out and looked like horrible dog shit. Yeah, and you I wouldn't like be Cuse. surprised. All right, give me Syracuse plus two ten on, on the money line. Beheim's still there, right? Has he retired? <laughs> has he been told to go? No, away? he's gone. He's, he's gone. gone. Oh no! Buddy. I don't know if you got wait, that memo. Wait, so he's working as a driving instructor. Oh. He we'll, said he said he's not going to any Syracuse games this year unless it's in Maui. Do we oh, have, might go to the Hawaii one? Sean, have you just have you announced if you're entering the portal? Oh yeah, I don't know what I'll do. Um, I'll have to figure it out. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see who Lehigh recruits. Well, Sean's uh, not ready. I mean, dude, you got to be ready for this. Is a big decision in your life. I still don't believe it. You got to find a new program. Alab for my tees. Alabama minus eight and a half. Uh, Georgia minus eight and a half. And then wow, T's in Georgia at eight and a half. That's a, that's dangerous. And then Arkansas up to twelve and a half. Colby, how say you? We're what gonna you got here? we're gonna lock out the Beavers minus three Friday night in Corvallis. Nice work. The oh, dog. Okay, I, I I like that. 
the dog is uh, Arizona plus five fifty. Really? In, in the desert. That's stupid. In the desert. That's stupid. dog. Let's get. Like, I could go. Look, there's some other dogs that are that are gonna hit That's too. But that, I don't want to give my clients just plus one hundred five bullshit. All right, <laughs> let's go for five fifty. Um, the the tease. Let's 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 tease BYU up to seven and a half. It's a good All tease. Right? What the fuck? Let's tease Kentucky over zero to plus three and a half. Oh, that's Colby. There yeah. you go, Colby. Wait, uh, what did you say? Four and a half? It's three and a half. No, I said three and a half. Okay. Yeah. Uh at Arizona to plus twenty-four. Oh wow. The he bonus, got through the key numbers of twenty-two and twenty-three. The bonus lock is Notre Dame minus five and a half. Oh my goodness. So Are now that serious? one you did get wrong. That was Notre Dame plus a half. So Wait, it ends no, in no, a no, no, no. Bonus no, lock. A bonus, bonus lock. lock oh, buddy. Notre Dame minus <laughs> All right. So I was busting his balls and I yeah, was Jesus him. Christ, some ball with some serious ball busting <laughs> mishaps here. All right. Hey. Can I well I what I, else you got? You got Ryan? While you try, are you trying to have a little fun? Yeah. Are we you gonna guys, do a little yeah, money line you, round robin? You guys didn't take any of the fun dogs, but no, what I, do you mean there? You I, took I, Arizona I, plus five fifty. I would propose a Kansas, Syracuse, Arkansas money round robin. Okay. I can co sign who, that. Who who's in on that? Kansas, Kansas, Syracuse, Syracuse Arkansas. Arkansas. Money line round robin. I like it. Yeah. Producer Josh like is it. in. He co signs. Right. Do we want to price it out? Sure. Work up that price, Ryan. All right. Hey, make sure you go to uh vcin.com slash subscribe. Use our promo code SGP. 40% off uh football special. They got you covered. Betting slits, betting picks, betting strategies, uh, access to 24-7 video so you can watch our show Friday night, Sports Gambling Podcast Live. Yeah, Musburger on the intro. Oh yes. And I he's like busting that. our balls. It's pretty good. It reminds me of like Jerry Glanville's football too. It's like it sounds he's like, I don't know what these guys are. Uh, you know, can't believe so he these sounds guys like he's just in a smoky net. room. Just, yeah. Uh, gotta we gotta actually chop it up with him. Maybe watch a game. Uh, with uh, the great Brett Musburger down the line. And then after you sign up, sports gamblingpodcast.com slash VSIN. Manscaped.com promo code SGP. Little C's get you ready for game day. Kramer, yeah, I'm 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 putting it together. This okay, takes a second. Everyone settle. I mean, again, got got a number of things going on over here. Bonus uh, pick, real quick, Colby. Uh, Georgia Southern over Coastal. Georgia Southern laying six and a half. What are you What are you doing here? Uh, I like Georgia Southern minus the points there. It's in Statesboro. They just beat the shit out of Ball State. I think they're a pretty good team. And Coastal didn't like the Tim Beck hire much, as you saw. We were on Georgia State last week. Uh, I think Coastal uh, oh. gets rolled by Georgia Southern. You ready to hear Ooh. this payout? Yeah. What do we got? So if we round robin and do the three way and all the two ways, so four bets essentially. Yep. Uh, we'll uh, we'll be we'll do we'll do the conserve. We'll do fifty dollars a bet. Okay. On all of them, spread so it. Two hundred dollars. So two dollar investment. Fifty four. Fifty one. Is the payout? That's if you go three for three. Yeah. But if you hit, if you hit, if you go two and one, you're still cashing a decent chunk there. I like this. I'm gonna double up for myself. All righty. Get down on this right now. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Oh, this could be a life-changing weekend. Kramer, let it ride.